Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 7.2 digestive system. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 7.2 you need to identify the organs of the digestive system and describe their functions in relation to ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and egestion. There's no extended supplement for this lesson. The alimentary canal is a tube that runs through the entire body, within which food is digested. The organs of the alimentary canal work together to break down food into small soluble molecules that can easily be taken up by the bloodstream and utilised. You need to be able to identify the main organs of the system and a few associated organs as well. Food is taken into the body through the mouth. Chewing or mastication breaks it down into smaller pieces that have a larger surface area for enzymes to work on later and mixes it with saliva to form a soft mass called a bolus. Saliva is released by salivary glands through ducts and contains an enzyme called amylase that begins to digest any starch consumed into simple sugars. This is why bread starts to taste sweet soon after it's been chewed. The bolus is moved to the back of the mouth by the tongue and swallowed. It then moves over the epiglottis, a flap that prevents food from entering the windpipe, and into the esophagus, a muscular tube which forces food into the stomach by peristalsis. Peristalsis is caused by a wave of contractions in the muscular walls of the esophagus that occur just above the bolus, squeezing it down through the tube. The stomach has glands in its lining that secrete gastric juice containing protein digesting enzymes called proteases. The lining also releases hydrochloric acid that helps to maintain optimum pH conditions for the enzymes and kill harmful organisms like bacteria. The muscular walls of the stomach contract, squeezing and churning food to help liquefy it in preparation for the next stage. From the stomach, the liquid products pass through a valve and into the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine. The duodenum receives pancreatic juice from the pancreas and bile for the emulsification of fats. Bile is made in the liver and stored in the gallbladder. Pancreatic juice contains amylases, proteins and lipases for the breakdown of carbohydrates, proteins and fats, as well as a substance called sodium hydrogen carbonate. This neutralizes the acidic liquid from the stomach, allowing the pancreatic enzymes to function optimally. Next, food moves into the second part of the small intestine called the ileum. Enzymes in the epithelial lining break down the now short chain carbohydrate and protein molecules into simple reducing sugars and amino acids, which are small enough to be absorbed and taken up by the bloodstream. The ileum is extremely long and its lining is folded into villi, which increases surface area for absorption. From the ileum, food moves into the colon, in which water from undigested food and bile salts are reabsorbed. The bile salts are transported back to the liver and reused. At this point, the mass of food has been reduced to feces, a semi-solid mass of undigested dietary fibre, mucus and dead cells from the lining of the alimentary canal. This is stored in the second part of the large intestine, the rectum, before passing out of the body via the anus. Now that you can identify the organs of the digestive system, you need to know a few key terms relating to their functions. So ingestion is the taking in of substances, that is food and drink, into the body through the mouth. Digestion is the breakdown of food molecules and can be both physical and chemical. Physical digestion is the breakdown of food into smaller pieces without chemical change to the food molecules. And more on this in topic 7.3. This occurs in the mouth when we chew, in the stomach through the action of the muscles contained within its walls, and in the small intestine where bile from the gallbladder physically breaks up fats into smaller droplets by emulsification. Chemical digestion is the breakdown of large insoluble molecules into small soluble molecules by the action of enzymes. In the mouth, salivary amylase breaks down starch, in the stomach, proteases break down proteins, and in the small intestine, pancreatic enzymes break down carbohydrates, fats, and proteins proteins into small soluble molecules for absorption. Absorption is the movement of nutrients from the intestines into the blood and this mostly takes place in the ileum. Assimilation is the movement of digested food molecules into the cells of the body from where they are used. For example, in the liver, excess glucose is converted into glycogen for storage or broken down through respiration and amino acids are used to build new proteins. Finally, egestion is the passing out of food that has not been digested or absorbed as feces through the anus. 
Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 7.2, digestive system. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate your subscription, and I'll see you next time for topic 7.3, physical digestion.